it is very important that you know that cos 30 or sin 45 or sin 60 whatever is equal to because it speed up your calculations and you will solve the mcqs in less time and remember in entry test time is everything so here is a table you must memorize it that let's start with sine theta so sine 0 is equal to 0 sine 30 is equal to 0 0.5 and sine 45 is equal to 0 0.7 and sine 60 is equal to 0 0.9 and sine 90 is equal to 1 actually sine 60 is 0 0.86602 but we round off to 0 0.9 to make it a simplest factor for calculation. Similarly, sine 45 is actually 0 0.707 up to so on and we may and we round it to 0 0.7 to make it a simple factor which is better for calculations. Cos theta is actually a reverse of sine theta. For the value of cos theta, just reverse this table as cos 0 is equal to 1, cos 30 is equal to 0 0.9, cos 45 is equal to 0 0.7, cos 60 is equal to 0 0.5 and cos 90 is equal to 0. Suppose we have a simple pendulum and we disturb it from its mean position to one of its extreme with some angle. So it was asked in eta that the tension in the string is increase, decrease, remain constant. Actually tension is equal to mg cos theta as mass and gravity for this pendulum or bob is constant so we can say that the tension is directly proportional to cos theta but here we can say that the cos theta is inversely proportional to theta when we increase the theta the cos theta will decrease similarly the tension will decrease when we disturb the pendulum from its mean position and give it some angle.